Okay, hello everyone. In this video is going to be top five punk rock playlists slash compilation albums slash records that I recommend for sure and that I've listened to quite a few times. And these have all been from either different record labels or different periods or eras of the punk rock movement. And a lot of these are from the 90s actually, which is kind of what I'm ready to buy with uh, 90s skate punk for sure. And playlists like uh, Fat Music for Fat People and and Punkorama definitely have a lot of bands in there like Pulley and Propagand, No Effects, Pennywise, and all of them. So number one is Punkorama, of course, and there are actually 10 total Punkorama compilation albums. If you get it on CD, I believe there's actually two discs for the uh, eighth Punkorama, actually, that you can buy online. But Punkorama had all sorts of different bands that have been on Epitaph over the years, from Pulley to Oscar to The Offspring or Bad Religion. And rancid. They've had pretty much any band you could imagine and back in the day it was mainly just for 90s skate punk that was going on during the time that it was so huge with bands like Pulley and The Offspring and then it eventually of course over time around by the fifth or sixth album they got bands from other genres like garage rock or ska and they really expanded their horizons as of uh, including other genres of music that were kind of like punk rock at the time like ska and bands like Rancid of course were on it and they were a big part of the whole ska punk movement and are honestly one of my favorite bands of all time and by around the fifth or sixth one and onward especially like seven and eight definitely expanded their genres of music for sure as of like including rappers like Sage Francis being signed to Epitaph and actually having a few songs on a few of the compilations and the second one is actually give them the boot though now there was five of these actually they were made and these were mostly consisted of bands from Hellcat like Dropkick Murphys, uh, Rancid, there's even a few other ones like the Scottalites are actually signed eventually and the Scottalites are actually a ska band and a lot of these bands that are actually on these compilations do have ska roots or are ska altogether pretty much but there are a lot of you know punk rock bands like uh, The Business they're actually from the UK they were like full blown like street punk around this and Lars Fredrickson and the Bastards, which is actually um, Lars Frederick Lars Fredrickson's side project from Rancid that he did, which I think was really great, the couple albums he released for that. And these were actually a big influencer of both Give Em The Boot and Punkorama were on my music taste growing up for sure along with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater's soundtrack. And uh, so the third one is Fat Music for Fat People now. This was actually on Fat Records which is the record label owned by Fat Mike of No Effects and is probably the most independent punk rock label out there currently for sure even probably more independent than Epitaph. No offense to really Epitaph because I still think they're a great record label but if you're looking for an absolutely like almost completely independent record label, Fat Records is the way to go. But Fat Music for Fat People has been running I think pretty much ever since uh, Fat Records first started with bands like Propagandy, which was the first one of the first bands actually to science of fat records back in the day and I'm not sure how many of these there are actually but I have listened to a couple of them and I will say there definitely are they definitely are my, some of my favorite punk rock playlists of all time I believe I listened to two of them I'm pretty sure which this is actually how I discovered Lagwagon and No Use for a Name which are two other great bands that have been signed to Fat Records and both those bands remind me of like the 2000s when Tony Hawk's Pro Skater soundtrack was a thing with like the skate punk era back then that was huge which I enjoyed so much. Now the fourth one is Punk Sucks. Now this had all sorts of different bands on it. This wasn't like just one record label specifically but this was all sorts of different bands from like uh, reggae to ska to punk especially punk because that's why you know it's called Punk Sucks but a lot of these bands Bands do have punk rock influences. Even Sublime is actually on this playlist. There's a song from Sublime that is on punk stock and a Blink-182 song. So, you know, the people that don't know too much about this whole thing, they only know, you know, the bigger bands like Blink-182, uh, Sublime, and all of them will actually get into this easily because it does have a few of those on there. So this playlist, a good playlist to get people into uh, punk rock and pop punk and ska punk and all of that a lot more. And I definitely recommend this actually for anyone that's 
you know, first getting into this whole thing of punk rock and all that, this playlist is definitely the playlist for you if you're willing to dig deeper into um, punk rock as a whole and learn some uh, learn some cool bands like No Use for a Name, Drawing Out, and all of them that you may not have heard, but they are great bands just like Blink-182 and Sublime. And the fifth one is No Thanks 70s Punk Rebellion. Now this had all sorts of 70s punk bands like Generation X, the Clash and the Buzzcock, and this was the very beginning of the punk rock movement in the 70s a lot, and these groups definitely, even before the skate punk era, had one of the biggest influences on underground culture that I've ever seen, honestly, and I give them mad props for that, and I also really enjoy their music for sure from back then and it's influenced me a lot and if you're someone who's into like older punk rock you know you're more of an older punk kind of person this is definitely the playlist for you because it has all of the good older punk rock bands and some of them you might not have even heard of but they definitely do have that old classic sound that punk rock had at the time and yeah so that is it for five playlists i recommend slash compilations whatever you want to call them check them out i will see you guys in the next video peace